Well, she is absolutely frustrated by this and very concerned on a rampage and rightfully so because she says this doesn't happen once in a while. It happens every single day. And she says if something doesn't change, a kid could get hurt or possibly even killed. You have to see it to believe it. The school bus stops, but oncoming traffic does not. One car right after the other blows through the lights and the stop sign. They just keep going. Just don't even, they just keep going. Drivers even ignore the bus driver when she blows the horn. They just one after the other. She's going nuts. Yep. And there's the semi honking out because they're still, they just keep going. Wow. Yep. Around 7.30 every morning, Erica Richardson gets a knot in her stomach when the bus comes to pick up her daughter and a few other neighborhood kids. It's the same thing day after day. Every time you run a stop sign, a stop bus, you're basically telling these children at that stop that your life is not worth my time. On this day, she got so frustrated, she took her life in her hands and actually walked into the road to make sure cars stopped. Short of that, nothing else has worked. She called the Polk Sheriff's Office, but... The moment we arrive with a marked patrol car, traffic behaves. The moment we leave, it quits behaving. There are more than 9,400 school bus stops in Polk County, all potential danger spots. The sheriff says he can't assign a deputy to them all, and he can't use the video to ticket violators unless one of his people was there at the time. Richardson feels like it's a catch-22, convinced that ignorance of the law is not the problem. I firmly believe people know the rules of the, of the road and are choosing not to stop. So she's on a mission, videotaping what's going on, posting it on social media and hoping that someone listens because if this keeps up, it's only a matter of time before something tragic happens. Now take a look down here. This is just one of the things she's done. She put up a sign from the sheriff's office that says drive like your kids live here. She thought that might help. People are still not doing that. So she wants her voice heard and what she's going to use is this a bullhorn. At some point, she's hoping that somebody listens because, as I said before, it is a tragic situation just waiting to happen. Mark and Kelly? Yeah, there's no doubt about that.